All right, welcome to this <clears throat> Tron prelim. Uh, I'm playing pretty stock list today. A quick look. We've got uh, two Besaju, three Dismembered, two Relics, two Always Dust, uh, one Khan, one Ulamo two Ulamog, uh, and then everything else is pretty stock. Let's uh, jump into the game. Hunt's very close. Has a lot of things we want, but missing that second line is pretty bad. So I think we have to mull him. You knew you were against a graveyard deck, you might keep this. This hand isn't much better, but it will do because we have. Um, we have the combo if we draw Tron land and we have a relic, so yeah. So no ley line of the guild pack revealed. Lean with the chromatic star. So it could be Gorya's Vengeance. Relic would be good to have if they're playing that and they don't take it. Let's start by drawing. Okay, so we need to start finding some mana now. Horses is pretty good there on the scry. Let's see what they're playing here, they'll confirm and we can decide what to do with the relic. It's not Gorios. I'm thinking it's some blue black shadow deck, maybe with Merktide Regent. So, a Relic is going to be good to have around. As long as we're making land drops, I think this is okay. I think they have Counterspell on their deck. Make this quite awkward. I think we're going to dismember that one. And then probably draw from the relic. Or they can play another one. The map's a good draw. We need that, we need that, that uh, power plant and that tower. So playing map here does play around spell pierce, doesn't play around counter spell. But I guess I'll make them use a counter spell because then if we draw well then we can play stuff. Interesting. I think we're gonna start with Starings because we can find the other Tron land. Okay, map is also is also fine. Still gonna play around spell pierce though like this. Okay. So that resolve, okay. I guess I won't play the other map because Because of spell pierce, so I go pay two Get the line, play the map. No, I'm going to play it now. Yeah, my logic was that I don't want them to untap with counter spell. This way, we just ensure our mana. Okay, so they're playing shadow, blue, blue, black shadow. I'm trying to draw into a fetch line for the shadow. Okay. So we could be in trouble here, maybe. If they have like a battle rage or something. I'll play around Tishana's Tidebinder, I think. I never know what these people have in their weird decks. 
Where's the power plant? Let's just fetch that tower now. Wait and say go. So we might die. The good thing is they don't have lightning bolt in the deck, so it's going to be a low chance that we die to something like that. And I think we're beating counter spell with Ulmog, probably. Oh, never mind. That was a good draw for them. Now we need to top deck something. But a lot of things might just get countered. Second shadow. Then the deck. I'm not sure getting anything other than maybe Beseju Phelps, maybe Saga. In case we draw a ring. Let's see. The Khan is good, unless they have counter spell. Let's see the counter spell. No counter spell. Right. So how much mana do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven mana. I think Ensnaring Bridge is the card to get. Could also get a Engineered Explosives. I can't get anything that goes around. I think Ensnaring Bridge is the card. I can't get anything that goes around a counter spell, so. So they must have some weird cards in hand, I'm not sure. Maybe like Fatal Push. But this turn, Snowy Bridge should buy us quite a lot of time. Okay, so they're gonna. Make us draw more cards. As long as we keep our bridge, we should be fine. The colors blue and black don't have too many answers to the bridge. Surgical Khan makes a lot of sense. They've taken all four. Okay, I'm just gonna play Saga here. Good scrying. I guess I was going for a, a Sage to thin my deck. It's not super relevant, I don't believe, but I don't know. They probably have like one answer to the bridge in their deck. Maybe it's like a Brazen Borrower. I'm also a little scared of the Bowmasters, so I think we'll try and play around Bowmasters. So what I'll do is actually just play out my hand here. So that no pitch bone monsters can attack us. Because we don't want to go too low because of the ring. So when you're ahead of, with Tron like this, the game becomes how do I not die? You know? Like once you've got it to a point where you're just you're, you're absolutely winning, then the, the game becomes how do I how do I survive? They might have dress down here, there's not much we can do about that. They found the Brazen Borrower. I guess I'm drawing a card here. That Borrower is definitely a one-off, so... I'd say that's unfortunate. Could be a two-off, but... Yeah. Couldn't have done much more there. Can't really stop them drawing cards. They weren't low enough to kill them with Khan, so that's that's kind of fair enough. I think the explosives might be good. Um, in terms of what else, maybe City Skip level, I don't think Khan spells. Chalice of the Void on one, perhaps. We know they're playing Stubborn Denial, that doesn't really change too much. 
Maybe we'll leave Chalice inside. I'm not sure how good Relic really is. Seems very okay-ish. We don't know if they're playing snap fast or anything though, which is the problem. The level is probably fine. Again, anything that goes through counter spells is uh, solid. Let's uh, let's go again. Should be a decent enough matchup. This hand looks very ugly. We don't have mana. A bunch of cards that we can't cast. This hand also sucks. This hand is pretty bad as well. Especially into a counter spell deck. Don't really want to keep this. We're gonna go sphere turn one. Hope to draw into a land and then hope our stuff doesn't get countered. On five, it's kind of bad. Uh, this is way better. So we have we have everything. Into, we have threats into Khan. So I guess I don't need to keep one map. I just keep two payoffs like this. Oh, it's more than four. Okay, well in that case, I just keep the Khan. Khan is often the best payoff in these type of matchups because they can't it can't get spell pierced or anything like that. Port seeds here is annoying, but there's nothing we can do, so. Now, I don't know if they're playing Shadow of Doubt. Um, so actually I'll wait, I think. The logic behind waiting is that if I fetch now and they go spreading seeds or something, then it's not ideal. Let's still let them like show us what they like if they're thought teasing I'll get Saga here, right? Let's see. Nothing. I think I'm still getting Saga then. Let's see if they shadow down me. No. So we can do Saga next turn. Let's play the con now. Probably gonna get like uh, some some creature threat. Expecting this to get countered. Another line would have been just to play Saga and say go, and hold up uh, on until we find double threat. Kind of difficult to say. You don't want to give them too much time. I guess they're a deck that doesn't use instant speed so much, so. They're playing, they're playing Salt Eye Shadow, it looks like. We draw a threat here, we're really doing well. Because they, they should have counter spells in their hand. No threats, fair enough. So I guess waiting would have been better, actually. But we didn't know that, obviously. Now they've got lots of mana, they start to have Shadow. With all season counter spell back up. Sacrificing a saga is very strong. I guess there's a chance I messed up then on the turn with Khan. Okay, they're giving us a turn to draw something. Do nothing. I guess this is the problem. They can just untap play Murph, and if we don't have threats, then it doesn't matter. Um, so I should have passed that turn. No, I should have gone saga. Pass. Then they might pick a poison on two mana, and then I would play Khan and pay. That's probably the line. It has been a long time since I played uh, the stack last. It's not an excuse, but it's just uh, just explaining why. We didn't really draw any other 
threats though, so perhaps the game goes slightly differently. Yeah, Brazen Borrower here or something. Strange to let the one caller resolve. Of course, Brazen is interesting because then it gives us a little window with mana maybe. Oh, sacrifice, okay. Makes sense. Now I need to attack with the lifelink to gain life. That's a good draw. Let's start by attacking with the one, the lifelink. Cityscape is pretty much the best card against the Merc Fight counter spell decks. They're gonna bow master their own token. But it doesn't work because it gets bigger. So. I think they just threw. It's kind of good. Throwing happening on both sides here. Now we're, now we're ahead, for sure. Because this card is unbeatable, pretty much. Because they can't bounce it, they can't kill it because it has an earth, and it's going to destroy permanent each time it attacks. So. It's very solid. Let's think about the combat here. Attack the leveler, target a bow master, attack the lifelink. Let's attack with lifelink and leveler. Leave one back. Just in case. Trample on leveler is nice. Tishana, okay. Reasonable. Doesn't have trample anymore, so we can block it. It's interesting, they could have taken the damage and played a big shadow. So we get a ring, get to draw a card. Oh, I should have done I should have waited for the trigger. What about that? Uh, let's not play the tower, I guess. Good news is the level is still an 8-8. I'm guessing the shadows are coming here. Sure. Just one. Chalice and zero. I don't think I have any cards that cost zero in my deck, so that's interesting to say the least. It's funny, I thought I was going to draw this. Um, I reckon I have to draw now with the ring. I think I need to draw because I need either. Yeah, I need. I need to draw either green mana somehow or a threat. Could get countered. I could just pass. Is it greedy to, to tap with the ring? Oh, no. Can I lose the game if I just wait? Take two, go to seven. Upkeep, I take two, go to five. Take one, but I gain three. I guess there's no reason for me to do anything. If they have another bow masters, that's pretty bad. I take four, go to five, take two, and I'll keep going to three. Can't tap the ring. Um, if they have removal for this, we go block, block, take two. I think we should draw here because I think we have basically all hits. Yeah, that's done as a good one. Alright. 
It's still a green mana, that's kind of awkward. They have to counterspell this. We'll stop them now, sure. So I'm just gonna pass. Again, we, we need to draw any green source or any other threat. Again, I guess I could have passed. I, I need to play a little bit more cautiously around counter spells. It's a problem for me, I think. So we're gonna go to five here. Really, not good draws at all. Now I think I have to attack with the worm. Trade it off, sure. So I reckon I get one more turn here. Scary because they can draw bone masters and things. Good thing his thought sees isn't amazing. Bad news is we're drawing not, not particularly well. Should I draw three and step? You know what, I think I need to. Okay. So this ill mod can get tight binders. But they're not targeting me with the bow master, so that's that's a good sign. Yeah, I don't need to draw any more now. I wonder if we can draw with it. We can map first. Let's let's map into tower first. Oh, so we've mapped for forest, maybe. Let's all mock first. I'm gonna go for the. The tide binder in the ring. Again, we just need to not die, is the thing. Now we can attack and kill the shadow. And this is trample damage, so they have to do something about this 8 8. Oh, I guess I could have played the engineer for zero there. Okay, misplayed. Uh, is there anything else to do here? We can map for a forest. Stirrings. Yeah, perhaps I missed a line there. Should still be fine. Um, we just take. Take a con or all this dust. This a con is slightly more threatening. Must remember as well they have shoulders edict, so they can make us sacrifice a normal mark or something. Interesting to play blue black shadow with pick your poison. I like the idea. Yeah, it's an interesting it's an interesting concept. I think it's a strong deck for pick your poison. There's a bunch of these decks where pick your poison was not really um the other decks were kind of weak to those other decks like I'm not without it, but it seems seems good in that deck. Uh I'm not gonna change anything here. Just know they play around we have to play around tide binders and stuff. But I think I think what we have is good. Tron. 
potato sees us, then we have to chop deck well. But you're not ever mulling these, I don't think. I could bait the seventh and out of here with the star. I think I'm gonna do that. They obviously might not have had it, but I think it's fine. I wonder if they play consider as well. Instead of preordain, Merc Tide Shadow. Maybe I'll give that a go. Seems interesting. We're gonna take a map here. I think I'm so happy with playing around the stubborn. Especially that we know they play it. They should definitely take the map here, because we only have two draws at some mana. Wow, they don't take the map. Are they going to pull these again? That means... Surgery for the Khan. Yeah, that line is, that line is fine. But I will just play the map here. And stirrings first. Yeah, because I wonder if they have Tidebinder. Maybe they're planning on Tidebinder in the map. So as long as we play around that as much as we can, it should be fine. Um, want another land or a talisman? Probably want a land. Forest is a decent land as well to have, so. Okay, so let's play around Tidebinder. Like, it's, it's definitely awkward for them if they have to play around that. Okay, no Tidebinder. Very curious that they didn't take the map there. Maybe they really had some feeling that we were going to draw the land would be fair enough but I, I guess it's not based on too many numbers okay so still thinking about counter spell here but I'm definitely going to correct the map Or Tidebinders up. Um, I could play a stone here. Or I can double spell next turn. Can I double spell? What is the 4 plus 5 is 9. So I can do O stone and worm foil. So I should play 1 now, right? Because next turn I can go worm foil and O stone. Okay, they can't that one. Hard counter use, so that's, that's good for us. Okay, it looks good. One mana up, so worm coil coming. Pull them off next turn, looking really solid. Now that we have the Illumog, there's really no reason to play the Ostern into the stubborn, I think. Just chill. I'm not sure that's true actually, let me think about this. Because I'm thinking about Tidebinder, right? Because if they tie binded the Ulamog and we and we put them low, they can play Shadow. I think let's play the O Stone now. Because then we can resolve the ring. Let's it resolve. Okay. Maybe they're just screwed on mana or something.
Oh, I do apologize. It seems like my microphone was not on properly. Ah, my bad. Uh, I should be better now. I'll listen to the recording and see how that was, but uh, that's going to be game. Yeah, they had an aggressive start. We didn't have an answer to Ragavan. Um, yeah, I think that's just how this game can go. I think your poison still seems strong though. I'll keep that one. Hey, might is interesting now that we know they have uh, they have Blood Moon. Not really sure what I'm cutting though. Could be when I was saying this one seems kind of fine. Uh, a little clunky, I guess. Yes, I guess I can cut one of stone. There's also some dark side though. Chromatic star. Try cutting chromatic star. Let's see how this game goes. All right, game three on the play. Give me a good hand. The good hands in this deck are so strong. Yeah, I'll keep this one. Got four drops, kind of on our way to towards Tron. I guess I'll start with playing the map just so they can't counter it, since the map is going to be pretty valuable this game. Similar to Lotus Field, I guess, in the way that you just make loads of mana. Tape everything. They want to five, that's good. It's probably them for their Ragavan Blood Moon hand. Our hand is pretty good against that, as good as it can be. Uh, let's see if we can find some dismember here. Sorry, it's a good start. There's a mine. Get a haywire might. It's probably strong. Block Ragavan next time. Well, probably up map. Uh, Blood Moon's still decent. Hit a little mark. Right, can't play that one. Let's try and The last card is probably counter. Probably. Maybe Blood Moon. Counter Blood Moon. Yeah, okay, so they have one unknown. I think it's counter Blood Moon. They've been to heat. Interesting. Because they know this mice is going to sit there and block right around all day. I mean, it's, it's, it's somewhat reasonable. We're looking to resolve uh, double spell next turn. As a, in terms of which one to resolve, it's kind of tricky. Um, Khan can get us Sundering Titan. Okay, so they don't have Blood Moon. We're looking for Khan, I guess. I guess we'd rather resolve the ring, basically. So we'll go Khan first and then the ring. Yeah, expressive again. Khan can also just get Tormund script. scripts. Now we have 10 mana, Khan can get anything for 6. So we can't can get like Chalice. Worm Coil. Don't have EE for 1. But we can't play that this turn unless we draw an egg. I mean, just playing Khan and getting uh, something. 
probably Sundering Titan, Mine, Power Plants. Obviously they get us saddled here. All the sass is a solid draw. Plus on the ring here. You know what? Let's just get a Dormant script and nuke their yard. Let's just play this game super safe. Super safe. I guess I can draw. Let's take it. This way they can't Merc Tide. They can't easily heat the Khan. They have to attack through the Halo Limelight. Next turn, there's more more hurt coming. Blood Moon would be still kind of annoying, but with the ring in play, it's not such a big deal, I would say. Let's have a look. They're filling the yard a lot, though. That's kind of crazy. All this stuff is going to blow them out. Can't use Wobble, that's funny. I guess they're trying to make Delirium. They can't really. So probably Counterspell now. Um, let's see what we can do. So what's the best line to play on Counterspell? So we have 9 plus 4 is 13 mana. Could just lead with Relic. Okay. Could now play another ring. Which is a bait. So the counter this just kind of all the stuff, I reckon. All the stuff, sack relic, seems seems good to me. Uh, con plus minus on. Let's say. Uh, what's the most efficient thing? Is it Sundering Titan? I think. Probably Sundering Titan. Maybe another, maybe a Metamorph Sundering. We lose to Merc. Let's say they make a Merc Titan next turn. How do we beat that? I guess we can't really with this sideboard, so let's just go for a. Could just go for another ring. Let's just go for a ring. Not sure we can lose. No attacks because of Ragavan. We just play Ring a turn. Yeah, there's a Blood Moon. We'll play a bunch of rings. Destroy the Bauble. Or maybe I shouldn't destroy the Bauble because of. Mark tied, it's probably fine. Uh, so let's go let's play another ring here. And that just then no, no no need to play in spell pierce, so I'll just wait with the chromatic sphere. Uh, actually no, I'd rather I'd rather they spent spent it. Yeah, okay. So now we can actually the blood moon on their end step. This game is done. No need to draw with the ring because we already have in hand what we need, what we'd like to draw anyway. So nice and easy. Okay, cool. Um, pretty straightforward. Double spelling, thinking about tie binders, etc. is the way to play. We'll see you in the next round. Okay, round three. Get into material. Let's see, strong Italian player. They're probably playing Merc Tides. This hand looks 
on the slow side, but still fine, I think. So we'll keep. The, the good news is Ritsu have no idea what I'm playing, so. <laughs> Any other time I'll play the Mega Man is really not, not a big deal. Let's see. Even Mega Man can be fine sometimes. Alright, no one drop, it's good for us. Do I want to find a spell pierce? Not really. The only down- I guess there's no downside, because I can just play the forest next time. We already beat Moto once this prelim, so kind of nice to play against it again. Okay, starting to make mana advantage is definitely what they should be doing, I think. Just makes it that much more difficult for me. Still gonna play. What are starings now? Let's see if they spell pierce it. There's the mine. So there's our Tron. Gonna play a map now because we're gonna host them next turn. Actually, we're gonna host them? Maybe not. Maybe we're gonna go. Maybe we're gonna go double spell on the turn after. So I'm thinking they have they have counter spell up now, right? The way to beat counter spell is by just doing nothing and taking the land. That being said, so the upside is they lose treasure or they just don't have it. The downside is that they get to surveil. They have a lot of threats. Maybe I'm supposed to just jam it here. Or I get a tower and then I have loads of mana. <laughs> have much mana, eight mana next turn. So uh, nice turn, nice turn. Hmm. Yeah. Or we can go con ring. But I want to play on spell pace as much as I can. Making them use the treasure is kind of tempting though. Hmm. Yeah, interesting, Inter really interesting. Counter spell pairs, his spell pairs. Get to use a counter of the hand. You know what, let's play it. Like if they want to spell pierce it, that's fine because then I can play ring and so yeah, if they're spending a counter on this, I think that's that's fine. So I think next turn we're going to start with the ring. Start with the O-stone. Maybe start with the O-stone makes some sense. So 
Mm. Okay. I think I like the lady with the last time here. The lady with the ring. Nah, let's leave the last one. I see you count on that. Guess I'll play a con. And I guess I'll get to almost crypt. Stop this mouth tide coming. Okay, pitching subtle V, I don't mind about that. I can put this one in the bottom. Let's put it on the bottom. They had to pitch a Merc Tide, so I'm kind of okay with that trade. So EO yeah, is the last card. The dodge many counter spells. <laughs> the next time we have eight mana, or if we use the map, we have nine nine mana. So we can go map map ring con map con ring. Let's see what they do. Dragon rage. I mean, I'm just guessing the last card in their hand can't be that good, right? It's like a bolt or a heat. So now we just need to not die. Okay, so he's he's massively playing into it. some sweeper here. Because they can't have force. <laughs> I wonder if it's a Ragavan on top. So I think the play here is Khan EE -E on one. Seems like the most solid play. So we go, how do we do the mana here? One, two. Um, that's five mana, two mana, I just do six. Let's get that engineered. Let's crack it now. It's pretty solid. You get Sandring Titan probably next time. Cityscape if they find a Merc Tide. Heat, sure. Okay, so now we're just going to win because we can go one coil into ring. Now we can go Khan Chalice on one. Is there something better to be doing? Bloom's Crypt. I think Chalice on one seems good. Yeah, no stone. So you go. Alright. Gonna be a hard game now on the draw. Just trying to remember how we slided. Mm. So we liked Pick Your Poison and Haywire Might and a Leveler. 
and we didn't like what do we not like calm liberators we didn't like a scrying we want all this dust the one o stone I'm trying to remember probably wasn't saga is it besiege you it was an o stone i think Hmm, that might be wrong, but maybe Earthstone's better than Willow's Dust, actually. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, let's let's not forget that. Earthstone's better because you can play it more easily around Blood Moon. So yeah, definitely want four of those in this matchup. I think this is a keep because we have a blocker for Ragavan and we have green mana for Scrying. It's, it's kind of fine. So, am I going to go Might here or Star? Probably Star. Since they didn't play Ragavan, I think we'll go with Star. So, yeah. I'm going to draw some cards, I think. I guess it's a tricky matchup for them. They have, they do have good disruption in the form of counterspell subtlety, but they are, they are slow to cast. Like yeah, like they don't have delirium, so it's just chill. Uh, don't get spell pierced and chill. Like I just go sphere, might pass, I guess. They really want to spell pierce this, that's fine. So I think now I'm literally going to save this sphere for when I have four mana for scrying. Uh, they're going to pass, and I'm just going to pass as well. Don't plan for counters, right? Don't give them surveils. Don't give them. I'll give them easy things to do. No wait. I missed Illyrium. So I'm guessing it's probably like an EI. So now here we can go Power Plants. Scrying, I reckon. I have to counter this. Change the equation. I guess we'll leave the sphere up in case they put blood in here. Kind of risky to iterate here, though. Maybe. Subtlety in the bin, that's interesting. Relic would be a great draw. Just need to find the Urza's Tower. And we're all good. Wow, one mana risky. They don't have Force, then they don't have to Pierce. Looks like they can still Pierce what we have. One thing's for sure, if we don't do anything this turn, it's going to be tricky for them. Okay, they're tapping out. So, does Ritzy play Force? Really... This is what spelled for us up. No, oh, two Force. Yeah, and three subtlety, alright. So they have a bunch of the uh, mana spells. I 
That's a good draw. Can I force this one? That would be cool. A null! Wow! Okay, so I'll just play the ring now. We get Khan. No, Khan gets totally the arm forced, right? This only get forced. So. Okay. So if we play Khan, it gives him the choice to suddenly or force. This way it makes it a little bit more difficult for them. So can we keep this back right then? Keeping the bulb was interesting. That might be for Dillerim post relic. Pretty sure it doesn't play Tide Binder. So how do we play around counter spell here? Play Khan into Ostern. So play the Ostern. Start with Ostern. One on the left, it could be Spell Pierce. Don't really want to get Spell Pierce here. But it would have to be exactly the last card. Next time we get to sacrifice this, gain two life, the one, survive, take six again. No, oh, it's a bit iffy. Uh, do I just play into the spell pierce? Is the question. I think. They would have. Hmm. I think I just jam. Get that to almost script. Yeah, like I don't want them to just draw a subtlety or it. So they could draw subtlety or counter spell. I think now's the time. Khan, to almost script. Go. They left it on top. That's also good because the spell base will have to leave the card on top. They didn't crack the ball ball. Really, I mean, they just forgot to crack the bubble, I guess. There's the Magus, but I don't think that's going to be enough at this point. Um, six mana. What can I get? Well, I'm just going to play the one foil first. Could tick up on the bubble here. That puts them close to. No, I should do that, right? Should I do that? I don't want them drawing a card from it, right? Like, this could potentially put them closer to Delirium, but I don't want them drawing a card, pretty sure. They could give their thing Delirium and... Yeah, okay, so we get there. Cool, nice little win against Murktide. I think, yeah, this matchup is slightly, slightly favoured for Tron. It's definitely a better matchup than Scammers, I think. Anyway, see you in the next round. Okay, last round. On the play. Love to see it. 
Caprio. And get the win. Vieira, blue white control. Or oh, four colour. Takes pretty good ins four colour. Um just have to figure out how to how to find a good hand. This hand doesn't really find Tron. And dismembering Relic are not great, so I'm guess I'm gonna mull. This hand is like uh, way better because we've got Saga. Trying to keep a bunch of keep the what do we not need here? So we're gonna go turn one to chromatic star, turn two cycle, saga scrying, and then do saga stuff. So I guess we're gonna get rid of the stone. That makes sense, I think. Prismatic in there, right? So they are playing uh, all color, I'm guessing. Go map, map. So we will have Tron here. Yeah, it looks like it's full color. It could be some root. It could just be like straight blue white control. And they've got two more endings. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna do this other thing. I think we have a land. It's lucky we have a land. Waz for draw. I don't even need to get the map here, but I think I get a relic. Definitely not going to rush anything. Go for con next time. Oh, what are we thinking here? Let's think about this. Make a construct. Get a map. Play the sage you. Pass, next turn, scrying. Can't play con. Hmm. Or I don't make construct here. Thinking they might have verdict anyway. Get map. Make a construct, get map. Yeah, I want to keep my Besagio, I think. So I could get a forest with the um, wait no, I could get a sphere. Could get a map. I think we should get a map. Guarantee our tron. Uh, so let's make the two first. She's my mana. Let's use mana. Power, power plant, mine. Next time we can go Khan. Let's see how that goes. It says you might be useful for their... For their um, binding or something. Gonna be a ring. Okay, ring is fine as long as they don't have four slash seven key. Why is this a little awkward? I mean, that's a good draw. Which con are we jamming? Uh, this con could get cityscape, sundering. This con exiles the ring. Rather they exiled 
Oh, the base Elder Ring, I think. So they did force. Pitching the asset. Guess I could play the Besaging now. Hmm. No, let's just wait. I'm gonna draw three cards, kind of good. Um, could also get Phyrexian Metamorph. Pawn results. The minus. Hit a solitude. Um, can we do much about solitude? Not really. Metamorph on the ring is tempting. It's probably the play. a bunch of cards. So it could be Solitude here. That would for sure be good. Thing is though, we couldn't have really played around it. Because playing around Solitude there would have involved getting... What could we have got? Like... Nothing we get result results in the con or dying. Like Haywire Might doesn't really do it. And I could have gone Sandry Titan, but that's quite a big chunky card, so So I don't necessarily feel like that would resolve, you know what I mean? Yeah, them having the ring in place is the way they can do this game now. Previously these matchups were easy because they hadn't got ways to you know, just draw out of the game. Okay, Lorien, I'm happy to see that. Unless they've got a bunch of forces, obviously. Ulamog is obviously the card we want. Oh, Lorien. I'm not sure I want to waste that one though. I have not drawn well. But I guess I'd like to draw a threat. Yeah, I drawn pretty badly this game. Let's uh, leave up Besage you for the binding, I guess. They're going to draw loads of cards, we're not going to draw that many. Um, I could have, what could I have done with Khan differently? I could have exiled their ring. Khan still dies. Maybe I have to do that, maybe I have to Khan their ring somehow. I'm not sure. I have 12 cards in hand, it's not ideal. Could do the Narset combo here, it'd be pretty, pretty bad. Narset obviously being very good against the ring. Teferi, okay. Bounce my ring. Narset stops from drawing loads of cards. So I'd like to draw an O Stone or an Illumog here. Illumog would be the nuts, obviously. We can't gain life. So actually, protection might win us the game. Maybe. Let's see what happens. 
It'd be funny if that's how that works. But they're, they're definitely going to find a day's undoing if they have it. So. I'm not sure how that's meant to work. Let's find out. Hey, why well, might place good. Side of that descent, it's members. Oh, it's so good. We should definitely force this now to play a ring forest go. Could have played the ring first, but the Khan doesn't really get much of super useful. This way we can get Sundering Titan. One, two, three. We can only kill three of their lands, I guess. Four. Sundering not that strong. We got the protection, so they can't gain life. So if they if they actually don't find a ring, yeah. Maybe I've even gone to dinner with you, but you're not a friend. A friend is someone who's like a family. They're there for you no matter what. They can also just solitude their own uh, solitude if they if they want to do that. There's another ring. Okay, so they reset the life. They've got 21 cards left to deck though. Small chance they deck themselves. Let's draw one card here. That's not the card we wanted to draw. Now I'll set a very strong here. Not really drawing enough payoffs this game, I'd say. That's useless. Uh, is it going to do some doing? Sure. I think that's pretty much it for the game. We could try and time them out, but I don't really feel like doing that. What have we got sideboard? Let's, let's have a look. So I think Haywire Mites are for sure good. Uh, Cityscape looks good. Sundering kind of looks good. Pick your poison looks interesting. Let's see how much we've got to take out, first of all. One calls are not great. I guess having one relic is probably fine. Metamorph seems whatever. A bunch of these threats are probably, probably what we want to be doing. It's really good. Don't think relic is that good. I think we need to kill Narset, so. Having a bunch of ice stones is probably worth. I could see Metamorph being good as well, but. That ring really screwed us. Ring with Force of Negation is definitely how they're gonna win. If they are gonna win again.
Hey, let's see, game two. Wanna play? Let's have a good hand. I don't have a pithy needle, I should probably have one of those. I need to figure out exactly how I'm building my sideboard. But this hand is just amazing. Yeah, this hand is just really, really strong. Can't the cityscape on the NASA. Sounds sounds good. Of course they could just carry him. No, the one the one that really does it. Funnily enough, these are not the lands that I have in person. You can get a saga as well. No sanctum, which kind of sucks, but it's not really meta anymore. I need my map, but it doesn't matter. Question is, do I play my am I playing my con into the counter spell? We'll see my map when I already have drawn. Doesn't seem great. Fishing subtlety as well. So I think I'm jamming con probably. Hopefully they counted them up. to play Saga on the same time as I play a threat so the turn after I don't have to to do anything like I can just try and do Saga plan. Saga plan obviously being very strong in this matchup. I don't think I want to change anything. I like the mites, like the pick your poisons. Don't like the worm coils. Being on the draw feel, feels a little bit bad, but not much to do. Stone brain on the uh, ring could be interesting. It's a little bit questionable use of my mana though, I think. Slow hand. The slow hand. The slow hand. Quite a lot of upside though. This is a keep. Turn one. Chromatic star. Be ending this, I'm not too bothered. Next time we can get a talisman to hail on light. Then do scrying. Go from there. I think with these hands, it's important to keep hands that can make four mana, right? Like keep hands that can make ring and all con.
So we recycle here. Probably go for the scrying now that we've drawn the tower. Fireplant tower mine. If they counter this, I'm fine with that. Tower power plant mine. Looks like they have a slow hands. So they have a bunch of lands into the bin, which means they don't need more lands, so they have some lands in hand. Narset is fine. Hit days I'm doing, that's that's not good for me. In fact, that's very much not good for me. Um Wow, how do I play around with that? Oh, no. It's kinda unlucky, I think. Uh what do we do? None of our cards work really. I guess I should play out my hand. Or I can play Oathstone Ring. That probably sounds like the best thing to do. Can I do them both if I play Talisman? No. Oathstone Ring sounds the best thing to do here. Yeah. At least this way, next time we get a way to get rid of the banana set, right? Yeah, I mean, at least we can kill an asset. They should absolutely force here because they're going to draw loads more cards with the days I'm doing. I don't know why they took so long over that. <laughs> Guess I can. All this dust. Maybe I can't afford to do that. Probably have to just blow this up now. Crack the relic before they play another Narset. Yeah, really not much I can do about that combo actually on the door. Like Walking Whale, I could have, but that's that's very fringe. I think I'm okay, like not playing around it. On the play, it's totally fine, I think. On the draw. Needle doesn't work. She's got a con, really. That's the end door. Con in the one ring. Oh, well, can't get subtle feeds. One ring doesn't, so. Be straightforward. I'm just drawing the upkeep, I think. Maybe they don't have binding. That's what I'm thinking. And they don't have Nasa days again. Could, could, could do something, I guess. Like, yeah, they need to not have Nasa. That's the, that's the thing. But even then, we can always dust. Okay, things are looking a little bit up. I'm gonna assume they don't have binding by the way they're playing. And their mana base is a bit weird as well. Also, Ostan and Ulster us both kill the binding, so it's kind of nice. Okay.
It didn't have force last time, making me think I should just play all this dust. Nice map for for Saga. Just map it up another tower, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Happening. Five cars in hand. We tapped out for subtlety last turn. Of binding. Just give me the other mog. Come on, game. The mogo. Where are you? I'm gonna draw an upkeep. I'm going to draw binding. Resolved. Interesting. Khan is a great draw as well. As long as, like I said, as long as they don't find the asset days, we're gaming. Master Days is pretty brutal against Tron. But there's not really much you can do against it, right? No. There's the first half. Show me the days. The ring. Really daze me again. Tef. Tef is interesting. Bounce the ring. Tef makes my O stone way better, I think. Assuming they don't have a force. So let's see, the game's probably decided this turn, one way or another. You have 11 mana. Okay, that's an amazing draw, actually. Because now I can go, can go Khan Sundering, kill 5 lands. Well, I feel like I should wipe the boards. O stone crack, play Khan. Play Sundering. We'll just play the ring. Does Khan do anything actually? Oh, I guess Khan is better because it's represents two cards, right? Probably put it on top. Yeah, it kind of is double cards, right? Because we get one this turn and one next turn and they don't kill it, so. But I guess I guess about about subtlety, maybe I should have done not that, but it's not a disaster by any means. Just don't have an asset days is all I'm saying. Maybe one in exile, right? Yeah. Two in exile. Wait, they probably only play two, so we're kind of vibing a little bit. They play their own ring. We're going to play Khan on Sundry. Yeah, so basically this turn, if they can't deal with the Khan, then we're, in, we're gaming. So no force, no subtlety. They take no asset. So I think now... Con Sundering is the play. Let's just double check. Um, one, two, three, four, five. There's the two islands. Then Con gets some monks again. Oh, wait, we brought it in. Oh, no, disaster. 
Oh, that's so bad. Oh dear. Uh, okay. Have to pivot. That is not good. I can Phyrexian Metamorph or Narset. Or Artifact or Creature and that's Okay, it kind of messes one up then. Uh... Worm Quill is probably not the best. Stone Brain doesn't help. Coating doesn't really help. Metamorph doesn't copy Nars set. No point in playing the ring. I can coating on, on Nars set. That's not great use of my mana. I can Stone Brain on. Like force. Doesn't seem amazing. Wow, really no way to do with this not set except O stone. Yeah, this is not good. I think I'm gonna have to take I'm gonna have to take the O stone. Draw. They took another Narset as well, so like that's just that's unfortunate. Could take a Worm Coil Engine. Let's just get Solitude for free. Could take a free ring. I need to kill this Narset is the problem. Could also Chalice on three. Seems a bit weak. Uh, we threw this game by putting the Sundering Ring in. I shouldn't do that. Uh, yeah, I mean there's basically no good options. I'll take the O-Stone. Play the O stone and play the ring. I guess draw in their upkeep. I'm pretty sure they don't play more than two days I'm doing, so. Double binding on Khan in the ring, that's brutal. Like, unless they let us just O stone. They're gonna draw four cards. So, as long as they don't find an answer to the O stone, we're gaming. Another binding! Oh, it's brutal. Brutal, brutal. Now we're just completely top decking with Narset. I would have won this game if we had Sundering. Don't bring it in, that's the moral of the story. That is the moral of the story. We can draw here while Mito besage you. Ending the stone. That's that's more logical, yeah. Yeah, this deck draws so many cards, it's wild. Really wild. I mean these be up now. That one's not terrible. No way to deal with this Narset, it's crazy.
I know they have another binding, right? This stone is nice here because if they're binding, we get to wipe the board. And the other stone is like. The other stone is like, you don't get to, to draw cards until you kill my Khan. They have Teth in hand, and now they have. Maybe try and time them out here. Just, just just keep ourselves in the game for a few more minutes and then we can maybe time them. Spreading seas, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, with those stone in play that doesn't really do much. Let's play mana in response to that, the spreading seas. Very brave playing the tough into the, the ocean. Balance the binding. We get the ring back, but they have a free binding. Oh, but this way they can binding my ring. Right, so do I have to blow it up here? Get the ring. I think it's draw now for the very right. That's a good draw. Although I'm not even sure what Mog does it here. They are kind of running out of cards though. We think about the fact they have no days on doing Why are they running out? Assuming they only play two. If they play three then it would be a different game. Not another Narset, please. How many Narsets have they had? One, two, three. I'll find Moon. We have to play this game fairly now. That's kind of terrible. That's the name. Think of both of these. Oh, Stone's still really good. Taking two minutes this time. As long as we still have our ring. That feels like I'm speaking too soon. Pick a poison would also be good. There's another spreading seas. Doesn't really do anything. Can't trips. Yeah. Oh, on this forest. Yeah, that's really good. It's very smart. Big brain. If there's a haywire might but I now have to save. Oh no, we have this. Okay, interesting. What's the play? Can I sell their ring or get back my ring? Or just stirrings. Trying to hit a con. Hmm, I can hit any green runner, right? Let's see. Khan is strong. But again, I only have one mana. So what can we even get? 
Uh, the next turn, one, two, three, four, five, six. Not much is the answer. A bone can is good though. I can just get coating or something, right? It could have subtlety, obviously, but. also get the ring from underneath the uh, one blue mana getting the ring or getting the metamorph coating does coating do anything coating is very kind of mid right metamorph is interesting Stone brain and solitude. That's kind of interesting. But can they win the game while I take solitude? Unsure. Let's just get a ring, I think. This way they can't necessarily kill us in time. They're pretty quick, they're playing pretty quickly, so I doubt it's going to be a problem. But How many bindings have they used? One, two, three, four. So they have no more... No more bindings. No. They have... One, two, three, four. Yeah, they have no more bindings. They could find ending. They can also binding on... Yeah, Tef bounce binding. Tef bounce the ring. Oh, so bounce the binding, take Khan. Should be drawing cards in response. They're not drawing with the ring because that means that means they they might actually die, right? Or, or what's, what are they doing? Yeah, I wanted them to do that before end step, so they have to go to clean up. So we're looking at some mixture of subtlety, con, something like that. We just want to draw O stones. We can hear why I might to destroy the binding. Seems good value. Can subtlety this? So I think I just put it on top. And then I can go Fair draw. I want to kill these spreading seeds, but I need O-stones. One, two... Still got four... Uh, still got two O-stones left in the deck. Are they going to force this? That would be wild. I can just do it again. Yeah, okay, let's just do it again, I guess. Play might. What are you doing? Exiling the ring, right? Sorry, exiling the binding. 
Yeah, let me just take out. Oh, can I can I do any damage here? Let's see, they're gonna take four. No ballista. Two theater to top roll. Coating. I don't want to take down, I don't think. Can't really get anything worth taking down for. So I think she's gonna take up. So there you go. They're gonna get a one. No ballista is brutal. That's very, very brutal. Play another ring. Okay, it's still one. And we're gonna start drawing with our ring again. They must have nothing in hand, right? They must have just run out of stuff to do. Found's gonna survive at least another turn. Looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, let's draw the ring. They could have subtlety actually, so I should try and maybe do something before I draw the ring. Oh no, yeah, I should just draw. All this dust is very strong. Is there any way to bait it? Uh, or should we just play it? Good golden scrying for another mine. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're not gonna get anything with Khan, it's good. Not really. Can get. Can you get Stone Brain? Bridge doesn't do anything, Long Coil doesn't do anything. Let's just go for it, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you want to force this, you can't play Solitude, you can't gain life. Resolves, wow. Next time we've got Megatron. Solitude for sure. So they can play Kahira and kill Khan actually, but then weird, they're not really drawing that well. They haven't got the, the Mega Ring, they have got Minimo. But I mean, between our Ring and Khan next turn, we're kind of I'm looking ahead here. Let's keep the time pressure on as well. It's going to be a long YouTube video. Like, assuming they don't have more spreading seeds, they look kind of good. I feel like even Ostern's a good draw at this point. Ulamog will go for the creatures, I guess, stop them from winning the game. There's Ulamog. Uh, you will siphon artifacts. Let's play on Is this subtlety. Sure. Yes, Khan isn't actually that good anymore. And the skeletons. Oh, 
Okay, let's put Colin on the bottom. On the bottom. What can we even get? Is there, is there actually anything to get from Khan that's even remotely useful? Like a worm coil engine? That's it, right? Let's just play Khan and make them attack Khan, I guess. Alright, we got the win, let's go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. A couple of misplays, but generally pretty tight. Um, just gotta be careful against the counter spell decks that we sequence correctly. I think sequencing is super important. But uh, yeah, um, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.